Hi, I'm Scott from Hire Me Leisure and this is the AutoQuest 155, our four berth motorhome. So one of the first things to do when you're setting up your motorhome, if you've got mains hookup, is plug in the mains cable, open the battery box and you'll find the main socket inside. Plug the mains cable supplied into the socket, you'll find a little cutout in the door so that you can shut the battery box door again. There's an onboard fresh water tank. You fill the tank through this filler cap with the hose pipe supplied. The toilet cassette is removed through this locker door. Lift the small orange handle and pull the whole mechanism out towards you. Emptying the toilet cassette, swivel the spout outward, undo the cap and lift and tilt the whole unit while pressing this orange button. You'll find instructions on using toilet chemicals inside the motorhome. Putting it back in, just slide it back into place until the orange tab locates in the slot. Make sure these drain taps at the bottom of the motorhome are closed when you're using it and you can also drain the grey waste tank and the freshwater tank. There's a cycle rack that carries four bikes on the back of the motorhome. Pull it down into place, the wheels locate in these gullies, the straps go through the spokes and these arms come down and strap onto the crossbars of the bikes. Stowing the cycle rack away is just the reverse, push the arms back up into place and then just lift the whole assembly up and lock it in place. There's a storage locker on this motorhome that can be accessed from the outside. This is the gas locker on the motorhome. Inside here you'll find two gas bottles. One will be full and the other will be at least partially full. Turn on the gas with the tap on the top of the bottle by turning it anti-clockwise. If you do need to change a bottle, you can unscrew the gas pipe clockwise. It does up anti-clockwise. The bench seats at the front of the motorhome can be converted into a double bed. Lift and pull the bed slats across to meet each other from each side. Then rearrange the seat cushions in order to make up the bed. It's more comfortable if you turn the cushions over and sleep on the flat side on the reverse. Underneath the bench seats there are pop-up travel seats with seat belts. Lift the whole bench seat up against the wall, you'll find a catch at each end here. Press the catch, the front flap folds down flat and then underneath you'll see the travel seat folded up. Use the lever at the front of the travel seat to extend the back of the seat first and then use the back lever to tilt the whole seat upwards and into place. The fridge has a three position switch here to select the power source, either mains electric, battery for when you're travelling or gas. Over here is the thermostat and if you're using the fridge on gas, to light the gas push and hold the thermostat in while holding down the ignition button and wait until you see the orange needle in the indicator move into the green zone. Lighting the gas hob, push and turn the gas knob on, hold it on the high flame position while holding it in, press the ignition button on the front of the oven until the flames appear, keep holding the knob in for a second or two before releasing and setting the flame height. Lighting the grill is a similar procedure, turn the grill on to full, hold the knob in 
press the ignition button until you see the flames in the grill. Keep holding the knob in for a few seconds before releasing it. There's a microwave if you've got mains electric. The AutoQuest 155 has a satellite TV system. If you want to use the satellite TV, turn on the isolator switch. You'll see a little red light on the satellite receiver box. Then go over to the control unit attached to the wall in the kitchen area. Switch it on with the on-off switch on the back. And you'll see the button to raise the satellite dish at the top left. Press that, the dish will raise on the roof. Remember to lower the dish before travelling. You'll find the fuse box and the mains trip switches behind this flap on the front of the bed. Under the bed there's a very large storage area. is the Thetford cassette toilet. At the bottom of the toilet you'll notice there's a black flap. The flap is opened and closed with the grey lever on the front of the toilet. Make sure the flap is closed before trying to extract the cassette from outside. The blue button is your flush button and there's an indicator light which will tell you when the cassette needs to be empty. This is the main control panel. The switch is on here. You've got the light switch, main light switch, the master power switch, the water pump switch and the awning light switch for the light outside the door. When pressed this button will display the levels of the battery or the water tank. The whale panel controls your heating and your hot water. The top button with a tap is your hot water control. Pressing this button will switch the hot water on and select the power source, either mains electric or gas. The button below is the heating switch. Pressing this one will switch the heating on and again select the power source between mains electric and gas. On the far side the plus and minus buttons are the thermostat control. The water heater is recessed in the floor under the bench seat. Make sure this yellow drain valve is in the closed position when you're using the motorhome and there's a red reset switch on the water heater here. The heating system you'll find under the bed and there's also a red reset switch for that. 